Hello, Concord Middle School students. This is Mrs. Rose, the technology teacher. This video is for all sixth graders and anyone else who would like a refresher on how to log into Aspen for the first time. All right, so the URL is very long to get to Aspen. So unless you have the link, I created a tiny URL for you, which should help you get there. So to go to tinyurl.com slash CMS Aspen, and that brings you right to Aspen. So all sixth grade Aspen account passwords are set to the student's local identifier number. So if there's a student in sixth grade named John Smith and he wants to get in and his local identifier is C1234, he would click on this and enter his, his username, which would be jsmith27, password C1234, and then Aspen would prompt you to change your password. So. I am not using a real student. I'm using a fictitious student today, a student who does not go here. So I'm putting in a login ID, which would be if, let's say, if Frank Gracious was class of 27, it would be F Gracious 27. It's the very beginning of your email address. But for this case, this is not what the username and password have in store for us today. So put in your the beginning of your email, and then your password is exactly your student ID. And I'm gonna press log on. And then they're asking me to do a security question. Do one that you know. I don't know many middle schoolers who know the last four digits of their social security number. If you do, good for you. Maybe vacation spot, mother's maiden name, favorite athlete, as long as that won't change. Favorite author, as long as that won't change. Something you will know. So let's say my favorite athlete is Jordan for Michael Jordan. That every time, if I forget my password, I need a little help. Um, I'll put in Jordan for my favorite athlete. All right. So again, this is not a real student, so it might look a little different for you, but you want to go to my information right up here. And this will be your address, all the things you already know about yourself. It will have your photo in here so teachers can identify you. Transcript won't be as interesting. One thing you will need to know every day is your current schedule. So see how this is highlighted in red? That means today is an E-day. So if I was a real student, I would see all my classes and I would know for all my classes that today is an E-day. All right, friends, um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. Have a great day and happy Aspening.